of course I'm missing them. You know, I was actually watching a little bit of tonight's episode earlier on, mm -hmm. and I was like, God, you know, because I kind of thought that maybe Mel and Vicky and uh, Edwina might have a little bit of a tiff, and then it kind of was happening, and I was like, yeah, I saw that yesterday. <laughs> you know? I felt that coming. <laughs> yeah, I felt that coming. Well, so. let's just talk about your journey in there, because you, you had quite a tough beginning. You were put straight into yeah. the slammer. What was it like being in the slammer not so nice? The slammer was hell. <laughs> it's not fun. Oh. Um, and there's, what a way to start. Yeah, no, it was. And, you know, it was funny when um, Ant was like, you're going to the slammer. And I was like, the slammer? Well, that sounds like fun. Fast forward a couple of hours hiking later. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, this is not, this is not what I signed up for. You know, but um, I think it prepared me for Croc Creek in a good way. Yeah, because so everything was, was going to be better. It, it was like the, it was like walking into luxury from from there. So I was like, this is so nice. There's a hammock. I'm not on the floor. So I wanted to see like, you when you went to the Versace. You must have been in your dream. Oh, I was. I, I mean, I was like hot water. This is unreal. Mm -hmm. But it just makes you appreciate life so much more. Let's just talk about it because you know we don't make it easy for you guys in there. When you did get into Croc Creek, we then divided you guys into two tribes, mm. and you did speak about how difficult that was yeah. because you, it kind of just split the group up. How was that? Yeah. The Galas and the Wombats. I it was, was tough. really upset, and I used to go into the Bush Telegraph. And I'm like, I don't like this. I don't like what you guys are doing to us. There's a lot of tension in here. And you, That's what we were doing intentionally. Yeah, no, and they were like, tell us about the tension, Nadia. And I was like, you know what you're doing to us, you know, that kind of thing. But, uh, and then finally we're all back together. And then we had to lose someone. And it just, you never can, uh, you know, know what's going to happen the next day. Yeah. Never, it's, the unexpected take. always happens. I was starting to realise, you know, just don't even guess. Don't even guess what's happening the next day. Um, you did so well when you were in the Glass, because obviously the Glass won, um, and you did the Terror Tombs, yeah. and you were petrified going in. Petrified. Absolutely petrified. Yeah. I thought you weren't going were gonna to stay in, yeah. and then you went in and you completely smashed it. Um, do you want to have a little look at this? Oh, I haven't seen it. Have a little look at okay. this. This is brilliant. This is absolutely terrifying. I can't even explain to you guys. Guys, I don't think I can do this. You good oh, in there, Mel? I'm all right. I'm all right. What is it? Oh, Jesus. One is down my top. Lucky bugger. And Mel, right stay in there. Mel, stay in there. Get me out of here. Quickly. Mel, stay in there. You're good. What the f***? Fuck you, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well done because it was 15 Thank minutes you. you to last. Jimmy, after four minutes, screamed to get out. Uh, Mel lasted that length as well, but in 20 seconds is all it took for you to get it out. Oh, 20 seconds? Yeah, is that what so, it was? yeah I, high five, girl. Well done. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I didn't even realize the key that was my key. I thought it was one of the others. Yeah, no, you, you smashed it. And I was it. like, wow! <laughs> how terrifying was that? Because we're watching it yeah. at home and it looks, oh, we're having a great laugh watching it. But yeah. just being there, how was that? You're in the pitch black. You're, the worst part is being brought in because you're literally like you're being buried alive and you mm -hmm. kind of for, you, you forget you're on a TV show. You're like, I'm being buried alive and it's all so serious. And then, um, and then next thing I just felt this rat come from behind my neck. Oh. Never nice. And then they start, you know, doing things on your face oh, yeah, they were and you can on, feel they? it. Feel it here, feel it here, and you're like, oh my god, you know. So you're creating life around you. I was creating babies. so many rats. It was, I was like the, the haven for the rat baby making. So oh. yeah. Oh. What, what a lovely thought. Um, you mentioned there that yesterday you already saw this kind of between Edwina, this tension between Edwina and, and Mel. Yeah. Because when you were in there, you got on with everyone. You were in a way a peacekeeper. I remember when the whole Kendra and Edwina thing started, they were erupted about that. That you kind of talked, you know, to both yeah. sides and, and see yeah. what was going on. Um, let's talk about the Mel Edwina thing. Yeah. Because this has been going on for a while. You said in there. Will, yeah. will, will Mel erupt? Uh, n I think no. I don't think. I don't think she will. I think. You know, there's only a couple of days left in the show, and Mel knows that she's hanging it. She's hanging on, and I can see it in her. She's like, "Breathe, walk away, come back to the situation." And yeah. she doesn't want to erupt. She doesn't want to let herself down. Maybe that's how she feels. So mm -hmm. I feel like she's really holding in on purpose. Yeah. Um, and Edwina is just giving it. Edwina doesn't care. Edwina's like, "That's my, that's my opinion. That's the way it is." And I, and I kind of love her for it. So yeah. I did see it, but has I have seen it bubbling over. Always overcooking. Anytime the, dinner was, in yeah, there. anytime the dinner was on, Tinch, you'd be like, Nads, sit up here with me. Sit up here. <laughs> really? Sit up here. You'll be safe up here. And we'd be watching like two grannies, you know, look what they're doing now, you know, like this. What, so. is, what do people think of Edwina in the camp? Because is she doing it to stir things up? I feel like she knows very well what yeah. she's doing. Or is that just for me watching it out I here? I think, no, I, I think she's aware of what she's doing, but she's just having fun with it. She, okay. Like, I mean, she argued for a living. 
Yeah, that's her job. job. That's the job. You know, of what did everyone expect? <laughs> yeah. You know, that's what I said to Kendra. Um, I have to talk about another catmate in there, which was Jake. Yeah. Um, Jake had his eye on you quite quickly, and a lot of other girls in there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, he just flirts with everyone. Listen, I'm not special, that's for sure. That's for sure. Well, let's talk about Jake in there, because he seemed to get on with everyone in there. It, it, was the flirtations annoying, or...? Because he seemed no. to be right in on you there a few times. Do you think so? Yeah. No, I think he's just like that with everyone. I didn't think it was me in particular or anything like that. And then yeah. I came out yesterday and people were asking, and, and I was like, really, Jake? No. That's you know, it. so... Is he popular in the camp? Ah, yeah, everyone yeah. loves him. And, he, you know, you're popular if you get 10 stars. You know, you're going to bring home the bacon. Yeah. So everyone's like, yeah, Jake, Jake, go, 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 get us food, get us food. <laughs> get us food, we love. <laughs> God, I love